better. Okay, so, oh, it's still hot. Mmm, that's delicious. You can see all the goo inside. <laughs> it's really, really good. Um, you don't have to pre-cook the jalapenos or anything. It is a long enough cook to cook the bacon, but also cook the jalapenos. And it also takes most of the heat out of the jalapenos. Now, we did have one last night when I did a trial batch, and my husband who doesn't like hot stuff got a hot one. But usually, it's not very hot. And here's the little pepperoncini, which I think these are delicious. I already ate two of them. <laughs> so, please go ahead and watch the video, try making them. And if you even like the video, just click like and if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe. Thanks. Hi, welcome to the Sassy Spoon Kitchen. Tonight we're doing something fun and very easy. You can either use your, a Blackstone griddle if you have one, or an air fryer. I'm doing mine on the griddle, but they're super easy. And we're, what we're gonna do is jalapeno poppers. So the first thing you have to do is prep your jalapenos. I like to make a T cut like this. So you have a cut that's going across the top, still keeping the stem end intact, and then you have your middle. I'm gonna take the middle out with a grapefruit spoon, making sure to get all those seeds and membranes. This is the way I usually also prep um, poblano peppers when I'm making stuffed poblanos for different things. Pretty easy way to do it. You can rinse these out and get to, just to get the rest of the seeds out if you want. That's a good way to do it. So, that is your basic prepped pepper. Those few little seeds aren't gonna hurt, but I'll take them out. <laughs> All right, so that's your prepped pepper, and we're gonna stuff it, and then close it back up, and wrap it with bacon. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of the prep on the other ones, and uh, then we'll do our filling. I'll meet you back here when we do the filling. All right, we're back now, and I'm ready to mix up the filling. Another super easy thing to do. So this is a block of cream cheese, it's kind of soft, and um, I was trying to stir it with a spoon. It's kind of hard to stir and mash up because it's not super soft. So I decided I've got gloves on. I'm just going to use my gloves. So I put in just a little garlic salt. And then um, about a cup of cheese, not quite a cup. Now this is uh, sharp cheddar. You can use any kind of cheese you want. Mexican melting cheese is really good for it, this. But I like the sharp cheddar because you already have the creaminess from the cream cheese. So I'm just gonna massage it all in together. I know it's funny. <laughs> Seems to work better than a spoon at the moment. You can kind of pick up all the little pieces that didn't get absorbed. Okay, that's pretty close to being it. Now, we still have our grapefruit spoon here, which is just the right size for stuffing if we need it. So we're just gonna open these up a little bit. I'm going to use my fingers at first. If I need to use the spoon, I will. I don't think I will. So you just pretty much stuff it full. Smash it down in there. And then close it up. Once you close it up, you're going to have a little overflow. Just take your finger and wipe it off. So 
and that's the first one done. And after we finish all those, then we're going to wrap them in bacon. So I'll see you back here when that's done. All right, I've got most of them wrapped up already, and I also decided to do some pepperoncini. The pepperoncini I am not stuffing. I'm just wrapping them with bacon. So I learned that from the Walt twins. I love pepperoncini, so I thought that would be a good idea. All right, so I got one here. This is how you do it. This is thick sliced bacon. It's not super thick, though. So you take the widest piece, and you wrap it around that opening. And then you just go around and around and around until you end up. Then where you end up, that's where you put the toothpick in. And that's it. So these are all ready to go out on the griddle in a minute. And I'll meet you out there. All right, we're ready to put these on the griddle. You can see it's plenty hot. There is just a tiny bit of oil here. Let's put it on. Once this bacon gets going, I'm going to turn it down a little bit. Once this bacon gets going, it's going to make its own oil. The one that's really big there. You can see it. Little teeny porcini. All right, I put them close together like that because I'm going to put a cover on it. And my cover is only so big. Now I turned my heat down to medium. It's all the way lo on low on that other side over there. And we'll be back in a few minutes to check on them and turn them again. Another check. Oh, they look pretty good. Now, if you want to air fry these, you certainly can. I just have to warn you that you need to have some paper towels in the bottom of your air fryer or a, at least uh, tin foil to collect this grease. You know you have the little tray in there? Because a lot of grease comes off the bacon. I'm not sure how paper towels would do, so strike that. <laughs> that might be a good idea. All right, I'm going to cover them up again. This whole process should take about 20 minutes. So as long as I have it on low like this, it's going to brown slowly and penetrate through the pepper to melt the cheeses, and that's what we want to do. So we'll be back again in a minute. Time for another check. Let's see how these are doing. Looking pretty good. These little ones, I'm going to take a couple of those off as they cook. I could use a little more. I like brown bacon. I don't like limp bacon. One thing about doing it out here on the griddle, really easy cleanup. You just scrape all the excess drippings and any cheese that melted right into the, the uh, drip pan. So you really don't have any mess like you would otherwise.
Oh, let's see one here that I'm going to have to adjust. See what here where I have a toothpick sticking out? I think that toothpick's preventing that part from browning. So instead of taking the toothpick out, I'm going to push it all the way through. Okay. So I push it all the way through. Alright, looks like we only have a couple minutes left, so these are ready. And um, I'll plate them up and bring them inside when they are. This great big one. He is a monster. And I think we put a baby one off. And this one too. Alright, I'm gonna put the cover back on. I think I'll take one more minute and then I'm gonna pull them all off. And I'll meet you inside.